Greetings. Bible study. Greetings. Prayer. And greetings. Preparation of the second coming of Christ. How are you, brothers and sisters? How are you? Uh, my beloved uh, friends all around the world. I would like to express my greeting, warm greetings to our brothers and sisters watching us all around the places on which our live streaming will preach to each and every family and home. Our uh, prayerful greeting that uh, uh, they may have always the healthy mind and healthy body. I am Evangelist Warren and one of uh, going to discuss right now it's all about the important one of the important uh, truth that we need to prepare ourselves in the coming uh, in the coming of uh, Christ imminent return. One of the primary maximums that I would like to bring is the saying that runs like this in times of darkness of our soul spirit that we cannot really infallibly decide. We need to lay on the truth advice to trust in the authority. Because there is such uh, parallels of wisdom, argumentum ab autoritati prosimum is in legi. Meaning, the argument which is based upon the authority is so powerful and overcoming power. Brothers and sisters, in uh, sometimes we feel the what we call uh, doubt. Sometimes in our life, uh, there's a time that our our life or our decision, some, uh, something like doubt. And sometimes we feel uh, hopeless. Hopeless. Sometimes we feel that uh, alone. No. Down, hopeless, alone. Now, what I what I am uh, what I am going right now is to. Uh, that all about the uh, uh, the life that we need to live today so that we can have assurance for the imminent coming of Christ. Okay? So, take note, if you have a question, just comment down below in our video in our live streaming and uh, by the grace of God we can answer all our questions regarding uh, our topic now now again 
we discuss about the uh, preparation, okay? Preparation, preparation, uh, okay? Now, the question is, are you ready? Are we ready? Okay. Do you believe that Christ is coming? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is coming? Uh, number one, believe. Oh. Okay. Do you have uh, Okay. We need to uh, believe that Jesus Christ is coming again. We need to believe and trust the Word of God that Jesus Christ, oh, Jesus Christ is coming. Okay? Uh, Jesus Christ is coming again. Okay? Jesus Christ is coming. Okay? We need to believe and trust the word of God that Jesus Christ is coming. Now, a lot of verses in the Bible uh, regarding that Christ is coming again. If you have, if you have a a Bible, now open your Bible in the book of John. It says in chapter 14. Now, okay. Now we need to uh, read that verses and chapter in the book of John. That it says that uh, Christ Himself uh, says that. Uh, uh, he is coming. Uh, John 14 verses 1 it says okay, uh, John okay, uh, 14 verse 1 2, 3 okay, it says Let not your heart be troubled Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Remember this statement. Christ told us, that uh, during Christ's ministry, during Christ down here on earth from heaven, because if you study the blood of redemption after the fall of man in the book of Genesis chapter 3, the whole chapter uh, Shield us, uh, uh, it, uh, it uh, give us the uh, story, the fall of man. Now, the plan of redemption, according to the John 3.16, there is father and son. That uh, telling us, because of the love of God, the love of the father, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, from the heaven, down here on earth, that's why uh, we can read the book of uh, the prophecy about the, uh, the coming Messiah, no? Isaiah chapter 7, chapter 9, 
A lot of verses in the Old Testament prophesy the coming of Messiah, the coming of Savior. That's why in the New Testament fulfilled the prophecy of the prophets in the Old Testament. Now, during Christ's ministry, here on earth, He telling us that according to that verse in uh, 3, oh, uh, in 1, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Jesus said that I go to prepare. After that Christ uh, prepared a place to us in, in verse 3, huh? and, I, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. This statement Telling us that Christ is coming. Christ word. Jesus said that He is coming. That's why ah, all, not all, but many all religions believe that Jesus Christ is coming again. The question is, do you believe? Right now, if you watch this video, no? do you believe? Do you have a, what we call, character? No? A, do you have Believe or trust the word of Christ that He is uh, He is coming again. Now, number one factor of our uh, one of the important factor so that we can prepare ourselves in our not only ourselves also in our family, brothers and sisters. We need to this. Believe. Believe. And Sibuado Mutuo. In other definition, Maniniwala. We need to believe in order to what? In order to have assurance during uh, uh, if Christ return uh, today or tomorrow or another day or weeks or years during that a uh, glorious events uh, we have assurance that while we are waiting to that events. You have assurance that Christ uh, is recognized. Huh? Uh, Christ is uh, recognizing you. Christ is uh, save you, save us. In that particular uh, event. Now, in order to have an assurance that events that we can see you and your family, number one, you need to believe that He is coming to see the people, to see the uh, people that uh, 
believe in Christ, no? day by day, walk with Christ. No? So we need to believe. But number, uh, why? Why that the word believe is very important to our life in order to prepare in our life because according to the book of uh, heaven, now we cannot, uh, okay, this uh, read in the book of heaven, chapter uh, 11, now, chapter 11, Okay. Uh, in the whole chapter in the book of Hebrew, chapter 11, uh, verse 1. Now faith is the uh, now faith is the substance of things hope for the evidence of things not seen. Okay? For by it the elders of them a good report. Through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which to appear. And for by faith evil, evil offered unto God a most excellent sacrifice than uh, Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testified of his gifts, and by it he being did yet speak it. Five, by faith, enough. Verse six, but without faith, it is impossible to please them. Now, the key is, brothers and sisters, and help you, oh, Chapter 11, verse uh, 6. No? Again, but without faith, it is impossible, impossible to please, to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder. Of them that diligently seek him. Again, in order to have an assurance in ourselves, in our family, in particular, glorious coming Christ, that Christ see us, that Christ. John 14, 1 to 3, that Christ it says that I prepare in a place amongst you in that kingdom in heaven in order to have an assurance day by day we need to believe that's why we need to prepare because if you are not believed if you don't believe, you cannot prepare in, in yourself. You, uh, you can neglect this. Huh? You are not a particular no? in this uh, uh, preparation if you don't have belief. That's why the, the, the important Ah, the one of the important uh, truth that we need to believe because without belief, according to this verse in Hebrews eleven six, without faith it is impossible to please Him. 
If you don't uh, believe, number two, faith, brothers and sisters. No? Faith. Believe and faith. Pagtuo. Mutuo. Ah? Ah, believe. Musalik. In other Cebuano. Uh, Mosalik, ah, trust, and faith. Oh. So, without faith, we cannot, what? We cannot, it is impossible to please Him. That's why we need to believe and faith. Ah, you need, we need to uh, believe and faith that Christ is coming to save you and to save the people, the truth in people. Now, a lot of verses in the Bible giving us and give us that, uh, for example, uh, for example, brothers and sisters, this word believe and faith. How did you believe? Huh? How did you believe? And what kind of belief, what kind of faith do you have now? Huh? Because if you have believed, if you have faith, Huh? We need to what? Number three, mga kapati. Uh, number three, brothers and sisters. Christ's righteousness. Huh? Christ's righteousness. Uh, okay. Number three, if you believe the word of God, if you have faith in Christ, what He told us, you need to what? You need to Christ righteousness. Not our self righteousness, but Christ righteousness. Without Christ righteousness, you cannot what? You cannot uh, Huh? Without Christ's righteousness, huh? it's all hopeless. Huh? Because a lot of people today, they have belief, huh? they have faith, but, huh? but, uh, the the righteousness is uh, not come Christ, not coming, not uh, not from Christ. So believe faith and Christ righteousness, not ourself again, uh, because. In the book of Isaiah, no? in the book of Isaiah, uh, they have, uh, it says that even you have a righteous person, not, uh, not from Christ's righteousness, you, you have effort, sacrifices, but not from Christ. Yourself alone, no, you cannot uh, have an assurance in Christ's glorious coming. I will read to you in the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 64, verse 6. But we are all as unclean thing, and all our righteousness, again. Okay, uh, we need to 
Take notice. Isaiah uh, 64 verse 6. Huh? But we are all as unclean thing, and all our righteousness are, are, are as a filthy rags. And we all know fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, iniquities, like the wind have taken us away. All righteousness, all our righteousness are as filthy rags. So, you say in yourself, I am a, I am a righteous person. But the but the right, huh? but the righteousness person, or the what we call uh, the type of righteousness is not coming, uh, is not from Christ. It yourself alone. That's why if you have righteousness in yourself alone, huh? A lot of character like uh, what we call uh, exalting person. You exalt, uh, you, you exalt yourself. Pride. Uh, uh, exalt what we call pride. Uh, it's no garbo. No? Pride. That uh, that uh, that uh, a character is coming is from the own righteousness, not from Christ. So we need to live by the Christ righteousness, not ourselves, but from Christ righteousness. That's why if you have Christ in your life, do you have belief? Do you have faith? And you need to what? You need to righteousness and that particular righteousness is not yourself but from Christ. I hope that this short message, short warning message, uh, short uh, uh, Bible study you can get what the principle that I want to uh, 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 that I want to uh, give to you a poet uh, that, so that uh, we need to uh, examine ourselves what kind of righteousness do we have? What kind of belief do we have? And what kind of faith do we have? I pray, brothers and sisters, all around the places, in that particular uh, events, in Christ coming. According to the book of Matthew, north, east, west, south. We can all together. We can all sing together. Huh? We can uh, all the select, all the people in around the places. They have uh, chosen people that these people they believe in Christ, they have faith in Christ, and they have righteousness in Christ. Praise God. God is the Lord. God is the word of the Lord. This is my prayer.